Caprice number 24, the theme which has inspired great composers, Brahms, Rachmaninoff, Lutaslavsky, uh, Liszt. Uh, it's one of the most famous themes uh, in the history of music, I suppose. There is something mesmerizing about that. So I uh, suggest we shouldn't play it too much like a march. So separate well the 16 note because there is a 16 uh, cap before that. And don't play too much of a sound because it says uh, piano second time, but doesn't say forte first time. So just make it sort of mezzo forte sound. very well organized rhythmically, upper part of the bow. And when you start the repeat, continue the bow, don't bring it back. When you start the second uh, section, you could really take your bow, lift your bow and put it back here. And this way the gap will be a little bit longer, but I think it's justified here. Um, the end of the um, of the theme, it's a little bit uncomfortable for the uh, string, the change of strings, but just make it longer the first note and listen to the second and third. First variation. Uh, listen very well to the intervals in the, the first three notes. Just really flat practice slow, play closer to the frog, first two notes, and then go a bit more with the third. The up bow staccato here. Retake your bow for the first two notes, connect the second note of the triplet to the first one, and then go a little bit further. So the first two notes almost on the same place and next three going. When you start second section, so the um, play a little bit longer the note before the shift. And the next one, there is no shift in the next one, but the, there is one note on the D string, which is a little bit uncomfortable to play. Also for the intonation, because if you play one, three, four, then the third finger, which used to play E on the uh, third position on the G string, then we'll have to play C on the uh, D string. So just be conscious of that and play this C a little bit longer. Next uh, two passages, play very calm two first notes up bow. And the very last one should be sort of like retardando feeling. Because you have all these changes of the strings, so make it just calm and the uh, little diminuendo. Will do. Second variation. Uh, don't use too much bow on the first three notes, uh, but the fourth note, listen well. Make it a little bit longer. Then go with the bow for the four notes. Don't make a crescendo, but don't make diminuendo either. Just listen well to them, they have to be sort of bouncing out of the accent. This way. The second section of this variation is basically the same way of playing, just take care of your intonation and don't uh, play the, the accentuated note in a hurry. The octaves, it says forte, that's very important. Try to keep the same tempo, it's not the slower tempo, it's the same tempo, and accentuate the uh, notes on the up bow uh, leads. The fingers of the left hand shouldn't be pressing too much. Uh, they have to be quite fluid. 
The uh, shift, which brings you to the second section, it's usually a little bit uncomfortable. Just listen well to the E, last note of the week. Make your bow speed correspond to the speed of your shift. It's close to the frog, so don't press too much. When you come to the third position on C-sharp, just don't play too fast your shift. Listen well to the, uh, all the way how you go there, without sliding much, so your finger has to be uh, light, but uh, don't hurry there. Next variation, practice it well with the separate bowings. And also separating on the bow. Uh, this way. And when you play, don't press your fingers too much because there are uh, shifts from one note to another on the semitone. So, in order to make it sound clear, the fingers have to be very light when they change position. Be careful about the position of your third finger. It has to go a little bit higher, well, when it's a half tone higher when it changes string because sometimes it's very important to be conscious of where does your finger go, what is his personal story, if you will. Uh, the same thing in the uh, beginning of the second section. Then, listen well to, and even actually slow down a little bit, last notes, and first, and then go, because it's very uh, delicate element here, don't make it just pass over, and um, listen well, slow down a little bit, and don't use too much bow when you go up, bow. this should come about middle of it, about a little bit under the middle of the bow. When you come to the next variation, I recommend changing your bow and playing harmonic on A on E. Place the bow on the A downbeat and again. So that will give you nice accent. If you will come to play it very fast, of course, you won't have time to place the bow, but if you play it between middle tempo, medium tempo, which is normal here, just be expressive, place well the bow, it's an accent, and even a little bit later, if you have time, you could do that. The second section of the fifth variation starts with a long shift, so you have to just really practice it separately. And then you do it a few times and then just go with confidence without stopping your bow. So it lightens and then goes back, but doesn't really stop, so don't fix it there. In the end of variation you could make a little retardando. So connect it is this way to the next variation. There, of course, the first thing is intonation. So practice well your distances. And then play longer the second note. That's other way of practicing it. And then think well about your legato while you change the position or string. When you change the string, make sure you well you play well the mutual string, the one which would be used in both thirds, like here. In this case, it's an A string, so feel it always well under the bow. Then we come to the tenth. Tenth is a, the difficult passage here. First, of course, you practice just intonation.
without pressing much. Then there is a way of practicing it with your hand going a little bit back and then coming forth again. Sounds funny, but it helps because when you play, you should just feel very, very relaxed. So if you practice well your distances and intonation, then you have this in your hand, it should work. <laughs>